What's going on guys, my name is Cody, and today we're gonna to take a look at how we can get started with Adobe XD for mobile prototyping, even if you're more familiar with Photoshop as your current workflow. Right off the bat, you'll notice that just like Photoshop, XD gives you a variety of different templates to start your designs with. We'll jump into an existing project to get started. You'll notice that your artboards are here on the left, which will contain your layers, as opposed to Photoshop being located on the right. This becomes second nature after a few hours of designing the software. Although XD's layers look a little bit different than Photoshop, they are very flexible and make for great housekeeping in your design file. Double clicking on the title of the artboard in the layers panel will open up the subsidiary layers beneath them. Or you can simply click once on the artboard. Duplicating artboards is simple. Simply hold Option and drag to the right for Mac, or Alt and drag to the right for Windows. You'll notice that XD also gives you these smart guides so that you have precision within your pixel spacing. In Photoshop, you have to manually duplicate items in order to make copies of them. You also have to manually space them apart in order for them to be equal distance from each other. This can be time consuming and stifle your workflow. Adobe XD mitigates this problem with Repeat Grid. Simply select an item, click Repeat Grid, and drag the handle over to the right. XD generates identical copies and they are spaced perfectly apart from each other. You can also drag a series of images directly on top of your object in order to populate them, saving you a ton of time so you can go home early. Once you've gotten to a good place with your designs and you're ready to prototype, simply come up to the Prototype tab. This is where you can truly bring your designs to life and add dynamic interactions between your artboards. In order to create an interaction between pages, simply select your artboard, drag this blue arrow over to the next desired page. You can then select what triggers this interaction, whether it's tapping the screen or a time transition. Along with your trigger, you have a few different options for your actions, whether they're a transition, overlay, or sending you back to the previous artboard. You can specify in the destination dropdown where the interaction will lead you. XD also provides a number of animation presets for your transitions. You'll also be able to specify your easing and your duration time. Once you've modified your interaction to your liking, come up to the top right of the screen and click Desktop Preview. Here you'll be able to actually preview your prototype. I know you're probably wondering, Cody, like where do I get this software from? Well, there's a link below where you can download Adobe XD for free. 